fellow colleagues, the year 2017 has started and it's important right from the inception to appreciate the basic things that are required for us as community pharmacists to be able to excel this year. One of the key things that is important for us is to appreciate the value of understanding the environment where we work. And we can look at the environmental factors with many parameters. Let's quickly run through a few of them. Politically, Nigeria is likely to be stable and there's an opportunity there. As professionals, we must look at how we can liaise with various health institutions and various organizations and take advantage of our political relationship with them, including professional bodies like the medical doctors and the nurses and the laboratory scientists and all other healthcare professionals. In the economic environment, we see that there have been some level of inflation due to the devaluation of local currency. The inflation has also impacted the consumer disposable income. And so it may affect their ability to buy. However, as a larger number of people becomes also enriched, there is going to be increased footfall. And as more people become more conscious about the value of health care to them, they might be able to overcome some of the challenges posed by economics. We must therefore appreciate this in looking at appropriate pricing for our goods. It shouldn't be too expensive and it should be such that it's profitable enough to keep us going. Our environment is faced with a social setting and cultural values that tends to suggest that a number of people would prefer to go to their religious organization to solve some problems that ordinarily they should have solved through pharmacy shops. This is a period for us to even work with the religious organization for them to appreciate the Father. Science itself is an integral part of revelation of God to help, to help particularly those who are healed. Who are, who are ill or who do not have the appropriate head state to, for pharmacies to be able to come in and help them. This is a period for us to make the best use of the socio-cultural environment we have to our own advantage. And so leveraging on our religious organization or various cultural organizations that we belong to to educate them about good health and how to maintain good health both in preventive health care and curative health care. It's also critical for us to think through technology. As we move year in year out, it's becoming clearer and clearer that technology is playing a bigger role in terms of what we do. And I will encourage all of us to appreciate the value of social media. Because in the social media, it's a tool, technological tool that we can use to reach a larger number of people. We can use it for public health awareness. We can use it to raise awareness on public health issues. We can use it to raise awareness even about our practice, where we are, and we can use it to reach many customers in terms of customer relationship management. So we can use it for collaboration, we can use it for engagement of customers, and we can also use it to perform better operations. We need to also understand the legal framework. All over the world, uh, government is putting in place a couple of regulatory things, and Nigeria is not an exception. Uh, government has now listed Farmstaker as part of the goods that we attract some duty. That's going to have a lot of implication. And so we need to be more professional and to understand the fact that, understand the implication of government regulations on our business, not from the profit angle alone, but also from the professional services angle. In the new year as well, it's important for us to look at ecology, the environment where we operate. It's particularly important to study our environment. Do people buy more in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening periods? What is, what is the kind of environment we find ourselves geographically? Is it an environment where people, where workers work from 8 to 3 o'clock or, or 5 p.m.? Or is it an environment where people come back to after they've gone to work in the morning? All these are important. Like I stated earlier, the environment provides very great opportunity for us to explore. And the only constant in the world is change. The environment will continue to change. And as we engage the environment, we can also continue to improve. All that is required from us is a paradigm shift. That the Nigeria of the year 2014 is different from Nigeria of the year 2017. We need to be conscious of this and take advantage of the environment rather than agonize over the environment. We should rather organize ourselves 
and take advantage of the environment. In our next session with you, you'll be able to talk about the various opportunities that these environmental factors present and now we can take advantage of these opportunities using various strategies to address them. Thank you.